Okay, welcome back. So in this video we're going to finish out the main part of the body by doing our foot. So to get our foot started all I'm going to do is draw out a box roughly the size I want our foot to be and in my left view I'm just going to position it. So actually yeah, this seems fine. So I'm just going to convert it to an edible poly and turn on my x-ray view and I'm going to place it where I actually want it, which is I'm actually going to bring it up here to make the bridge of the foot. So something like this. So it's like as if he's wearing a big a strappy kind of shoe thing, like a sandal or something. So, with that, I'm going to add a connection down the middle first, and I'm also going to add a connection along here. So we have this. And I'm going to add one more connection actually here, just so I can get a bit more shape in the top of the foot. This foot is kind of strangely drawn, I think. I mean, if I just move all this out of the way for a sec, it's like, it's not a very realistic looking foot, so I'm just going to roughly follow the reference for the start and then I'll fix it up afterwards. So I'm going to grab all these polygons and just extrude these out any amount again because once again we're going to be going into this view and just repositioning them anyway. So something like there. Let me bring this down a little bit further even. And I think that kind of dip up is a bit too high for a toe. So I'm going to just leave it like that. Now I'm going to do the same on the back. Grab all these polygons and extrude this out. Again, any amount at all. And just reposition these vertices. So, where do I go with this one? Um, I'll go up here somewhere. And then straight across the top with that one. So I'm going to put in another connection there I think to get the um, shape of the foot a bit better. So I'll just move all these up a little bit to make room for this last connection. And I'm not sure if I did that right so I'll just ring it properly. Put in this connection and just kind of get that back shape of the foot that I'm looking for. I'm going to bring these down quite low actually so they can be kind of the sole of the foot or the start of where the sole is going to start. So maybe pull both of these out a bit. Mm -hmm. If I can grab them again. Seem to be having a lot of trouble grabbing these toes and stuff and the vertices lately. Okay, so now we have this shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a material on it to get rid of that black. And I'm just going to pull the foot in a little bit on these two edges. I'm not grabbing that last edge because I don't want to move that. So just pull it in slightly. Then I'm just going to grab all these vertices and pull them into about there. And then on this side I'm going to pull them in and back a little bit further. Because this is going to be the big toe on the inside and this is going to be the little toe on the outside. So it's going to come back a little further on that side. Now what I'm going to do is grab these, pull these out a little bit. I'm going to pull this out a little bit as well and maybe back a bit further. 
this is just to get the shape of the outside of the foot which is something like this it's easier probably to see it on the bottom so now I need another edge loop to just get the last shape I need for the heel so with all these selected if I go into my front view or actually my bottom view would be a lot better for this deselect those ones and just pull this out a little bit and pull these in and forwards a bit okay now I need to pull that in there this actually needs to line up with the um, let's see these two need to line up with this edge here this one needs to line up with this edge so maybe I'll just do that now so these two need to line up with this edge here and this one needs to come into that there Bring my foot's over a bit to the side I think that's what the problem is there alright so now I'm just going to pull all this in a bit again just to kind of get that curved shape on the foot now you can see why I didn't like this reference here because of this shape so what I'm going to do is just pull all this down a little bit maybe pull that down a bit more even and I'm going to put in one last connection here and all I'm going to use this for is just to get this last bit of the shape that I want so this can maybe come in a tiny bit on this side I need to start bringing this in quite severely because the inside of your foot comes in quite a lot something like that and again need to do something similar with these vertices that I did with the other side so bring them in something like that and I still think this is a bit too high yeah I think that's more what it should look like to me anyway just going to pull those down a little and then this point here ah this is what's wrong I haven't pulled these back so they're going to come back to there I'm sure I did pull them back I must have moved them again ok so now we've got all this shape kind of started just pull some of these out a little bit what I'm going to do is on the bottom I'm going to grab all these vertices on the bottom just on my X scale them in very slightly something like that and then that should kind of give the curve to the bottom of the foot that we need I'm going to actually scale the back you have to heal a bit more just to bring it in even more there okay now we've got these points here which are coming out a bit too far I think okay I think our foot is coming out a bit far maybe I'm going to just grab all these and not the top ones I'll just scale these in a little bit yeah I think that looks a bit better alright so now we have this kind of general shape that I'm looking for I'm going to actually pull that back in a bit I 
still think that foot on the reference is very strange looking. So I'm just going to even these up again. And now we kind of have our foot sorted. My left view, I'm just going to grab these two points and pull these over to there. Again, to line up with that and foot or the ankle rather. I'm just going to delete those polygons and now we're kind of ready to attach the foot to the rest of the body. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go into border mode, select this border and this border and just hit bridge just to join them together. So now that I've done that, what I can do is just put my edge constraints on again, pull that up a little bit, and my front view, just take a look at what I've done. Okay, so my foot's kind of over a bit to the side. It's kind of turning the leg a bit too much. Right, so now I've got that. I can just pull that down a little bit, I think. A little bit more, even. I pull all these down as well. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've got that, what I can do is put an edge loop in here and bring it down a bit. Maybe I'll bring this one back down again, actually. Just make sure I'm not destroying it too much in the um, in the left view. So something like this. Might actually pull the entire foot forward a little bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So now that I've done that, all I'm going to do is grab this vertex here, pull it out and down a bit, and this vertex here and pull it up and out a bit, just to create the kind of angle bones that you would see. I can turn on my edge constraints and just pull that down a little bit. Might do the same to that one. And all of these actually just to kind of ease them out a bit. Okay. So now that that's done, that is pretty much our foot. I think that's all I'm going to do on it anyway. Let me just double check everything. Okay, one last thing I'm going to do is just grab this bomb set of hearts and just make them planar on the Z, on the Z, sorry. Just, just so it's perfectly flat now. Okay, so now if we take a look at it, you'll see we have our character and once again I'll do this uh, symmetry thing just to show it a bit better. So we have our character now and his feet are looking pretty good. I mean, ah, I haven't put them on the smoothen group yet, so just do that as well. And yeah, I mean, it's looking okay. It's not too shabby. His ankles are a bit kind of fat at the back, or his heels, I mean. So maybe I'll just fix that as well while I'm at it. So all I'm going to do is, I think, just grab these three and these three verts. I selected one out there by accident. I'm just going to scale these in a little bit. Just to kind of pull the heel in a bit more. Might actually do the same with these two, because these should come in actually more than the rest. Same with these two. 
Okay. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And just one last check with my symmetry to make sure. I'm going to put the turbo smooth on now, actually. And yeah, his feet look pretty good. I mean, they're kind of the right shape for feet, I guess. And they're all looking okay, yeah. All right, so now the last part of this tutorial is going to be modeling the head and the neck and attaching them. Once we're done with that, you'll have an entire character modeled in 3ds Max. So I'll get onto that in the next video. And thanks for watching again. So I'll see you then.